also special speakers uh, type of podcast type of thing because I have with me. Yay! Surprise! <laughs> I am so excited. I've not seen her in over a year. SpeakerCon was the last time I think I saw her, which was. That the, was 2019. That was this one, wow. right? This was the last one that I saw her because then after that, that was October, November, December. Then, you know, it's like, hey, Merry Christmas. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, January, it's like, oh, okay, well, girl, we're going to get Speaker God together for 2020. <laughs> and 2020 was like, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> but it is coming back. Speaker Con will be back. Now, she was also did Playtime is Over, right? So she is looking so. I'm just so. I'm just so excited to see her. I'm so happy to be touching somebody. Like, hey, other than my husband, <laughs> we got shots. We got shots. We got all of that. But one of the things too, she did playtime is over, and it was really playtime is over because the, the after that she did speaker con and Dr. Sherwood. For those of you who aren't familiar with her, go to speakersmagazine.com. Download 2017. Download 2019. She's gonna be showing up in 2020, 2021 as well. She was in the calendar though for 2020 yeah you were in the calendar yes. for 2020 that was like I amazing yeah i know we <laughs> didn't do it we didn't do it again but tell people a little bit about who you are what you do and like why you're in detroit and why we're doing this this thing together because normally we don't do this together yeah so first of all this is one of my favorite people on the planet <laughs> i love what she does i love how she executes an excellent speakers magazine is everything the brand is everything i am here in detroit michigan as a part of sean fair's the leadership experience tour and they're in there practicing and getting ready he is basically teaching new emerging emerging and aspiring speakers really how to get ready for the big stages that they're going to be taking and so he's giving them that real live uh first-hand experience in doing that knowing what it feels like to be called to the front of the room with hundreds of people watching virtually and in person uh, and just giving them that necessary experience because all of us know we've got to have experience and exposure. Mm -hmm. So he's helping them to do both. And so I've kind of snuck in a little bit and listened to some of the little presentations, them practicing and getting ready and everybody's nervous and excited. And uh, it just energizes me because of course that's the work that I do as a master speaker development coach is I help to develop primarily women speakers, helping them to develop the framework around what their keynote speech is, helping them to develop and craft their story, uh, and then also to have a really powerful stage presence. So just to be in this space to support the ladies and gentlemen uh, is phenomenal. So I just put down, I'm trying to do this while you are speaking and I'm live. Like, so I put SherylEmpowers.com as seen in speakersmagazine.net and then hashtag speakercon. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so tell people, okay, so, so she just told you about what's happening today and I want to go over here and look at LinkedIn. I love LinkedIn, Cheryl. So I'm going to go over here and see what's going on over in LinkedIn. Okay. So really quick to see how people are. Okay. So you got Barbara Pinder over there. Hey, Pam. Hi, Barbara. Yes. Yes. So we've got Sherwood here live. I'm so excited because typically I'm doing this in my studio at home alone. And then the other person is in the other box on the side, but we are actually together. So we've got uh, Dr. Portia here as well. She's over here taping us live. Happy Portia. Yes. We love her. Hey, Janelle. So, Janelle, I, we're also on Clubhouse as well. So, this is like really a lot for a 61-year-old woman to do <laughs> doing too much multi -tash. But you are crushing it. You are crushing it like you've done it before. <laughs> it's like, what is this? And we're also on YouTube Live. So, let me see who's over on Facebook. And uh, we're on the Speakers Magazine page over there. So, I'm going to share that out to... Uh, Okay, how do we share this out? I'm gonna share it to a group. Let's share it to our friends over at Black Speakers Network. Yes, Brian O. Yes, yes, because he is a We are the official magazine to uh, Black Speakers Network. So I'm gonna share us over there as well, so they can kind of send up. I'm gonna I'm leave though. I'm gonna leave him over there. So I wanted to interview Cheryl today because I've known Cheryl. Um, so beautiful. I've known her for at least 10 or how old is your daughter 17 so at least she was probably about three so at least 15 wow. years or so and when I met her she was doing like business development type of things like um, I remember one ebook you had that talked about how to run a home-based business do you mm, remember that no <laughs> <laughs> I 
been running home based business. Done so many things since then. And, 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 and it was really, we were on different shows, blog talk shows. Yep. We were doing podcasts and yes. things together. But she was Remember all that? Blog talk radio? Oh, my God. Oh, you just brought back memories right Yes, there. yes. Porsche was just on Super Ray's uh, blog talk radio show the other day. <laughs> so Super Ray has like 500 episodes or something like that. Wow. So one of the things, too, is that she went from selling um, t-shirts I think at one point in time you know started out as a paralegal the legal secretary and then start selling t-shirts on the weekend and then she really got into this online space so we saw each other there now because of and I always say this God doesn't waste anything so all the things that she's done in her career she has used right right and, but the last thing that she started really using was her mouth <laughs> <laughs> So she was doing all this other stuff, and she, you were doing the, um, you, you did the, uh, what I call like the, you were doing like business development or business coaching or really helping helping women get started. Right. And they were get, helping them get started in what kind of business? Just whatever, whatever their business idea was, like helping them to really kickstart it and get it launched and get it off the ground. Just, just really developing the confidence to get it started. And then that's where the light bulbs went off because whenever she would speak it would be that people were, were magnetized by what she was saying. Mm -hmm. And then she realized the gift that God gave you. Yes. And it's like, I need to really shift. So give, give everybody, because everybody doesn't really flow into their destiny like all at one time, right? Mm -hmm. It's just like, but give us some clues that you were getting along the way that this might be something, or did you see maybe someone else doing it and it's like that might be something that I might can do so give us like the pivot points of where you saw it things going yeah so so really at the time I was in search of the word freedom like I really did I wanted time freedom I wanted financial freedom and I wanted creative freedom and and what I mean by that is I was working a full-time job I had been doing that for 15 years as a legal secretary in corporate America, which meant I came when they said come, that's just what a job is, and left when they said leave, and I had to put in a, a, a leave slip if I wanted to take a vacation day or whatever it might be. Um, if my kid woke up sick, I had to call and get their permission to be out, and I just was kind of over that.